Hey everybody, welcome back to Zoo School here at the Tulsa Zoo. And I just wanna give a big shout out to our members for helping us keep the Zoo School going. So this week, our theme is Africa. And on our table, as you can see, I have some biofacts of Africa. And I just wanna remind you guys that biofacts are real or replica animal parts used for educational purposes. So I'm gonna start with my favorite African animal, and it's actually the greater kudu. And you can see with this kudu pelt that they have a really interesting and unique pattern. And this helps them blend into their environment, which is primarily bushlands or woodlands. This is a kudu horn. Only the males get the horns and they can reach up to six feet. Some other really cool hooved uh, animals that we have are the zebra. And there are actually three species of zebra native to Africa. This is the plain zebra, which is the most common. And one thing that everybody notices about a zebra is their really awesome stripes. Researchers believe that these stripes help confuse predators when they're trying to escape. Another really cool pattern we have up here is the giraffe pattern. And again, researchers think that they're spotted in this way so that it confuses predators and helps them escape so that they don't get eaten. Moving on to some other really cool African animals, we have um, a rhino horn. There are actually two species of rhinos native to Africa, the black rhino, which is also called the hooked lip rhino, and the white rhino, which is called the square lipped rhino. Both species of rhinos get these giant horns um, that kind of are on their noses above their lips. And if you zoom in here, you can see that there's very little fibers. And that's because rhino horn is actually made of keratin. And keratin is what makes up our nails and our hair. Moving on to a larger African species is the African elephant. And the African elephant has tusks. Tusks are actually modified teeth and they are made of ivory and they grow continually throughout the elephant's life cycle. Elephants actually have really cool teeth called molars and you can see that they are wide and flat for grinding. Moving on to a couple of reptiles in Africa. The African leopard tortoise. This is a really cool species and this is the second largest species of tortoise native to Africa. You can see that they have really awesome patterns, patterns which is what gives the African leopard tortoise away. And the top of a tortoise shell is called the carapace and the bottom of a to tortoise shell is called the plastron. So fun fact for you. The other reptile species we have up here, some might think is a little scary, it's called the gaboon viper. And these vipers are very fat. They can weigh up to 18 pounds. You can also tell that they have rectangles and triangles on their skin, which helps them blend into their environment. So they're generally on the forest floor. So these guys get really good camouflage and they're really hard to see. Another interesting fact about the gaboon viper is they have the largest fangs of any venomous species of snake. They can reach up to two inches long. So one bird that you guys talked about a little bit last week during bird week was the ostrich. Ostriches are actually native to Africa and they are the largest bird species, but they're also flightless, meaning they don't fly. So you can tell by this egg that it's very, very thick shelled. It has to be that way because they're so heavy that when they sit on it, we don't want the egg to crack. Another cool thing about the ostrich is their feathers. So their feathers, unlike other bird feathers, are very loose and smooth, and that helps keep them cool in the deserts of Africa. So let's talk about some big cats of Africa. The first one is the lion, and I know many of us are very familiar with lions. We know that they're carnivores, they have these very large canine teeth. Another cool thing about the lion is they actually live in communities or herds which are called prides. And lion prides consist of 
one to three males and then about a dozen females and their young. Very social cats. Lastly, we have our cheetah. This is the fastest land mammal. They can run anywhere from 60 to 75 miles per hour. It's crazy. So you can see that they have really cool patterns on their pelts, just like the giraffe and the zebra. And that's to help them blend in because they can only run so fast for a very short amount of time. So they need to be able to hide and then accelerate very quickly to catch their prey. Now that we've talked about some of our African species, I'm gonna hand it over to Keaton and she has a really cool animal ambassador to show you. Hi everyone, this is Pearl and Pearl is a ball python. Ball pythons are native to Central and Western Africa. They're one of the smaller species of python. They only get about three to six feet long and they are a constrictor. So that means that they will squeeze their prey and then swallow it whole. And ball pythons will eat lots of different types of small mammals, so they help control the rodent population. And ball pythons are nocturnal hunters, and they have special pits on the front of the face here. She'll turn around and let you see. <laughs> you can see the little holes there on the front of her face. Those are the heat sensing pits. So they don't see the same way we do. They will see heat instead of colors. And Pearl here is sticking out her tongue and that's because she's smelling everything. So she has a very special organ in the top of her head called the Jacobson's organ. And the tongue will take in all the different air particles and take it back to that Jacobson's organ and it will tell her if it's food, if it's predator, or if it's her home. And Pearl here is only about three years old, and ball pythons will live to be about 30 in human care. And they have um, all different color combinations on her. Pearl here is a little bit lighter than they would be in the wild. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, if you will visit tulsazoo.org slash kids for some more fun activities on African habitats and animals, we will see you guys on Tour Tuesday. Thank you.